here we go uh, elite football i'm just listing the next one up real quick we got a ton of elite football it's new a bunch of good stuff in this all right next elite football is getting listed right now yeah good luck everybody all right that next one's up now i can remove that pinned thread all right so we're ready let's do this thing so here we go first of all let's random uh the teams here commanders to the cardinals this is gonna be a fun break man let's pull some fire out of here so uh, let's go through seven times this is three four five six and seven all right so the browns are at the bottom the chiefs all the way at the top and uh, paste special text and uh, we're about to do the same thing with the owner names Kevin S at the bottom Daniel M you're at the top gonna copy that list <clears throat> and we're gonna go through seven times that's two three four five six and seven uh, Kevin s you are at the bottom Frank G all the way at the top can copy that Yeah, there we go. Let's make this real big. Here's your teams. Uh, Frank, you got the Chiefs. Daniel, you got the Bengals. Craig, Commanders. Troy, Steelers. Craig, Chargers. Uh, Troy, Giants. Matt, Rams. Craig, uh, Eagles. Uh, Frank, Panthers. Uh, Daniel, Broncos. Frank, Raiders. Donald, you got the Saints and the Cardinals. Alex, you got the Patriots. Frank, Cowboys. Alex, uh, Ravens. Uh, Kevin, Jags, Troy, you got the Bears, Lions, Craig with the Falcons, 49ers, Daniel, Dolphins, Craig, Jets, Craig, uh, Packers, Frank, Texans, Daniel, Titans, Craig, Colts, Craig, Vikings, uh, Matt, Bucks, Frank, Seahawks, Craig, Bills, Kevin, Browns. So let's pop this in alphabetical order here. So, Craig, you're being offered a trade for the Bills. If you're around, hop on in the chat, man. Say hello. Uh, Frank G is offering you a trade uh, to try to get those Buffalo Bills from you. So He came in. He was in the chat the other day. Ah, the thing got all small. Let's put this on the main screen here. All right, so while maybe you'll get lucky, maybe Craig will come in and yeah, yeah, I'll give you a minute. I'm just going to stack the packs here. Not a problem at all. Yeah, I don't mind waiting at all, man. I'm in no rush. I'm just having fun, man. I'm just going to stack the packs up here. Elite football. Look how pretty those packs are, man. So there we go. Elite. I got my string cheat. Okay, let me break it. Okay, no problem. Let's do it. Good luck, everybody. Kevin, he said, nor am I because I got Cleveland. Kevin. 
Man alive, Kevin. Who else did you get besides Cleveland? Let's see. Kevin got Cleveland and Jacksonville. Okay. All right. Well, let's uh, let's see what pops out of the box, man. Let's see what pops out. All right. So the kid reporter. All right. So first up here. Uh, ooh, Jordan Love. Look at that. What do you guys think about him? Honestly, what, what's your opinion? Like, a lot of question marks on him, but this it's it's time. It's his time. We'll see. This is a uh, thirty-eight of ninety-nine Green Bay Packers. Craig F. coming out to you. You got the die cut here. Uh, status. Uh, Jordan Love. So it's going to be interesting to see. You know what he does. With his opportunity here. Debo Samuel. Debo. Okay. Uh, Mahomes. Beautiful cards. George Kittle. Kittle. And T-Law right here. I'm a Trevor Lawrence fan. Uh, Pac's trying to run away. I'm a Trevor Lawrence fan. I like the kid. Rooting for him. Hopefully he does... Hopefully he does pretty good. All right, this kid reporter. All right, Hendon Hooker, rookie on deck. Hendon Hooker, rookie card. And where did he go? This is one of those pop out cards. It's pretty awesome. Hendon Hooker, where did he go? I'll look it up. Ah, it's on the tip of my tongue. Where did he go? Look that up in a second. Nick Bosa. Uh, huge contract there that he just signed. Garrett Wilson going to have a monster year this year. If you didn't draft him in fantasy, you should have. Um, Travis Etienne. Hopefully he's fully recovered from the injury from a couple of years ago. And Joe Mixon. And we'll see if uh, Travis Etienne can live up to the hype. Uh, we'll see. So we got Henley for the Chargers. This is uh, 372 of 999 going out to Craig F for the Chargers rookie card. Uh, Jerry Judy, he's injured right now. Look for rookie Marvin Mims to step in and have a good game this week. Austin Eckler, uh, Kirk Cousins, he's a great pick this week. Uh, in uh, DFS fantasy, he's cheap, cheaper than a lot of the other guys. So, Kirk Cousins, he's also on the show Quarterback on Netflix. If you haven't seen it, it's fantastic. Um, here is a full throttle. Look at that, Brees Hall, man, that's awesome. Uh, 16 of 75, New York Jets, and uh, that's going out to Craig F. Got the full throttle, Brees. My opinion is, man, I, I just think uh, I just think Dalvin Cook's just a better running back, man. I think Dalvin Cook's going to end up winning that majority of the snaps this year, but, you know, we'll see. Alexander, A.J. Brown, Brock Purdy, that's your boy. Kyler Murray, I don't think he's going to play this year. I think his days in Arizona are done. And the new Call of Duty is getting ready to come out, so he's going to be preoccupied anyway. Don't think he cares either way. All right, next up. Uh, Jalen Hyatt. I believe he's the wide receiver uh, for the Giants, I believe. Uh, rookie card, Jalen Hyatt. Nice looking card there. Boop. Uh, Joey Bosa. Okay, Chris Godwin. He had a great uh, fantasy a couple years ago. Lamar Jackson's going to go off on Sunday. And uh, T. Higgins going to have a good year this year. Lamar Jackson's going to go off against Houston on Sunday. I'm telling you. Kid's going to go crazy. All right, got uh, Devontae Smith, Chris Olave. 
Mark Andrews, uh, status uh, is questionable this week. Got downgraded a little bit. If you got him in fantasy, start paying attention. Might not play this week. His status, he has not improved health-wise as the week has went on. And I think they said he missed 15 straight practices and then finally practiced this week, but he's not showing improvement. So, uh, And Russell Wilson, he this is a make-or-break year for him. He... he He's got to do. He's got to do something. He had a terrible season last year. All right, so we got Jared Goff, man. What what a good game yesterday. Seventy four of ninety nine. Detroit Lions. Uh, Troy C coming out to you after last night's game. Uh, I heard a couple Detroit guys say they their team could go undefeated this year. And then I mean, come on, come on, man. I mean, re really. I mean, come on, undefeated. Give me a break. Jared Goff, good good game. Good for, I like Jared Goff. Patrick Sertan, uh, Pacheco, Isaiah Pacheco. All right, Tua, he's one concussion away from a career injury. Hopefully he can maintain. Jordan Love, one concussion away from a career being over. Uh, C.J. Stroud, uh, 457 of 999 Houston Texans going out to Frank G. And first autograph here. Looking for two autographs and a memorabilia. Jalen Hyatt, uh, New York Giants. Yep, on-card auto. Look at that, man. Nice. Nice on-card auto. Who's got the Giants? That is Troy C. Coming out to you, man. Pen Pals. Jalen Hyatt. Rookie card auto. Nice one. Troy C. Man, that's a... That's a... Oh, man. That's a coin flip. Uh, Frank G. Nick Chubb. Uh, Geno Smith, Travis Kelsey, you know, I'm going DJ Moore, um, because that's who I have starting, so I'm biased, um, but, I mean, he's, he's getting all the targets, man, yeah, everything's going his way, DJ Moore, uh, he, he's, I mean, he, he play after play, I mean, go, go DJ Moore, I mean, he's, might score a couple of touchdowns, that big playability, um, T.J. Watt here with the Steelers. He's a beast, man. T.J. Watt, he's nasty. Um, that's going out to Troy C. Then we got Tannehill, uh, Jalen Hurts, Aaron Donald, and Justin Fields. Justin Fields, okay. Man, that's a tough... Kenneth Walker the third or DJ Moore. I'm telling you, go DJ Moore. Well, I got DJ Moore starting. We'll go DJ Moore together, man. Let's do it. Josh Jacobs Playmakers for the Raiders. Frank G coming out to you. Josh Jacobs. Uh, Jimmy Garoppolo. So I had him in my dynasty league, but I had to cut him. He didn't make my final roster last week. Uh, Baker Mayfield. Kyle Pitts, if only Desmond Ritter could get the ball out, he'd be a monster. DeAndre Hopkins, now with the Titans. Uh, Jackson Smith in Jigba, so he was my first round rookie draft pick. 115-149 uh, Seattle Seahawks going out to Frank G. Uh, the experts, quote unquote, are expecting him to just have a good career and pretty good pretty good season here jonathan taylor uh chris jones mac jones that that to me though those are the best patriots uniforms they need to go back to that i don't like their current i think the broncos and the current patriots uniforms just my opinion are not i think the broncos might have the the worst uniforms just in my opinion but I, I love those old school Patriots uniforms. In, in your opinion, who do you guys think is the ugliest uniforms in the NFL? Broncos are definitely up up there for me. I think the Texans are one I don't like. Broncos, Texans are two that come to mind pretty quick for ugly uniforms. 
The Jets don't have their uniforms aren't that attractive. Saquon Barkley. Uh, Devontae Smith. Stefan Diggs. So chime in, man. Ugliest NFL jerseys. Jared Goff, Aiden Hutchinson. So let's hear it, man. Let's hear your ugly NFL jersey picks. All right, so we got a Colts, Jonathan Taylor, and that's 103 of 149. Indianapolis Colts, Craig F., do, do you know if he's going to play this year? Do you think he'll play? I don't think he, he definitely doesn't want to play for Indy anymore. Tony Pollard, Joe Burrow, and Mike Evans. So Mike Evans said he's about to cut off contract negotiations with Tampa Bay if they don't Sign him to that extension. Uh, Will Levis, a rookie elitist. And this is 24 of 25 Tennessee Titans. And this one's going out to Daniel M. So Daniel M, you get a numbered card there. Uh, Amon Ra St. Brown. So had a good game last night. Kenny Pickett. So he might be the... He's having a fantastic preseason. God, I have him on my dynasty team, so I hope it carries over. Daniel Jones, I have him on my dynasty team, too. Uh, that was That's two of my quarterbacks right there. The, the other one I have is Tua. That's my three quarterbacks in my dynasty roster. Tua, Kenny Pickett, Daniel Jones. I need one of them to really step up, man. Uh, Davis Mills. Wow, look at that, man. That That's awesome. Carrying the flag out. That's really cool. Uh, 274 of 349, the field vision, Houston Texans, Frank G. Nice looking card, man. I like that one. That's a good looking card. Uh, C.D. Lamb, okay. Uh, Dexter Lawrence, uh, T.J. Watt, and Jalen Waddle. Love this guy, but he's always injured. He's always questionable. That's... Definitely got to get me a Waddle jersey. Got to get me a Waddle jersey. Or a Tyreek Hill jersey, but I want the Waddle jersey. Um, BJ Ojolari. This is 710 of 999. It's Arizona Cardinals rookie card. Donald Y. What's up, Donald? How you doing, man? Coming out to you. And here is our relic right here. It is a Champ Bailey Elite coverage, 297 of 375 Denver Broncos. And that is Daniel M. Coming out to you, Daniel M. Elite coverage relic right there. Champ Bailey. You got a George Kittle, 44 and 99 49ers. Craig F. Coming out to you, George Kittle. Juju Smith-Schuster, apparently his doctor said his knee could explode any day now. So he just got traded in my Dynasty League to an unsuspecting owner that didn't read uh, the headlines, I guess. Another owner offloaded him for a second-round pick in next year's draft in our league. So. <laughs> Juju Smith-Schuster, man. says that He said his knee's getting stronger every day, but... According to uh, his doctor, it could explode any day. Here's Drake London. He's another guy that could be amazing if Desmond Ritter could get the ball out. Craig F. coming out to you. Playmakers. You got the dummy card. Justin Tucker. Dalvin Cook. There he is. Man, I love Dalvin Cook. Uh, Miles Sanders and DJ Moore. That's a sign, Frank. It's a sign. Look at that, man. You got to start them now. It's a sign. <laughs> All roads point to DJ Moore this week. Uh, Johan Dotson right here. And this is 26 of 399. This guy here is going to have a big... Uh, a big game Sunday. Um, Desmond Ritter. Not too sold on him. Uh, Sauce Gardner. Uh, Jamar Chase. And Adam Thielen with his new team. The Carolina Panthers. He 
He's being overlooked big time in fantasy football drafts. Adam Thielen. Uh, Tyreek Hill. Hopefully he has a great day uh, Sunday. Drake London. Uh, Terry McLaurin. So uh, I don't. I think he's not going to play this week. I think that's what I heard. He's not going to play. Cooper Cup uh, just said he might not play all season. So if you drafted him in the first round, you are screwed. Um, definitely not going to be back in the first five weeks of the season. Probably not going to play at all this year. Michael Pittman. Uh, junior last pack uh, elite football last pack uh, the newest cowboy oh Tyler Lacey I thought I said Trey Lance for a second all right uh, 390 of 999 Jacksonville rookie there we go uh, Kevin S coming out to you and Michael Wilson pin pal so our third of three hits our second auto uh, Michael Wilson Cardinals going out to Donald why Donald Why nice on card auto Michael Wilson rookie card Cardinals uh, wide receiver I fully expect them to tank this year they're going to draft Caleb Williams with the one pick next year and get rid of Kyler Murray there's Kenneth Walker the third maybe that's the sign uh, Frank <laughs> now we're back to even we had a good sign now we're even right so there's a Kenneth Walker. Damon Pierce, he's a monster. He's going to have a great season. Miles Garrett. <laughs> right. So there's our elite figures, and we pull him in the last pack, right? 